Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our webinar. Uh, we're going to be doing a webinar that is a, and a customer case review on the Enterprise Translations Hub for Alaskan Confluence with LingoTech Translations. First of all, let's just uh, do a quick overview. Uh, Enterprise Translations, in, in, a, in, a, in sum, is, is basically a tool that was developed for information developers and technical writers who have already built their product documentation in Alaskan Confluence. It's also for those who are managing outsourced translation services and have to create many uh, translated flavors. There's uh, many reasons for why we've done this. And uh, in general, the formal and traditional product documentation translation processes are outdated. And they're nothing less than complicated, expensive, error prone, too many steps, time consuming, tedious, lacking visibility, and definitely not agile. In some, they are a pain, despite the need for global translations. Um, that brings me to bringing a presentation of who the presenters are and how we will go through this. Larry Fur will continue uh, from Lingotech. Will continue with uh, an overview of the legacy translation process as well as the new process that we have designed. Patrick Lee will go in depth with a, a demo. And Robert Kennedy will also, uh, one of our joint customers from CA Technologies, will go through his case study that is in process because it's a long process. He has thousands of documents in 19 languages that he's tra translating into Alaskan Confluence with the Enterprise Translation Hub solution. Larry, are you ready to go? I am. Thanks, Ellen. <laughs> so, uh, what we run into all the time with uh, customers that are using Confluence or any web content uh, management system and trying to take those languages global is that uh, they're currently doing this, what we like to call the hard way. Uh, and the hard way, as you can see, has a lot of steps, manual steps, that you, the customer, uh, have to take care of in order to get your content translated. And the problem with all of these steps, besides the fact that there's a lot of them, um, is that when you go out and you uh, hire a translation company to help you, they only do one of the steps for you, and that's the translation itself. Uh, of course, you know, translation is still a black box. You don't have any visibility into the process because it's an offline process. There's no automation or notification of process management, no real-time leveraging of your translation memories that you've invested in, and there's no ability to review or publish translations as they're completed. And so, as you can see, with as you have all of these different things you have to do and you multiply those by the number of languages and pages and words per page and so forth, pretty soon you have an insurmountable uh, number of steps that you have to do. And your translation company is not really helping out much at this point because you're doing all the work and you don't have enough hours in the day to keep up with the volume of change. Too many manual steps in the translation process and not nearly enough automation. So that's where the solution of Enterprise Translation Hub for Confluence comes in. Using the joint solution between Lingotech and AppFusion, we're providing an all-in-one translation solution that's integrated directly into Confluence. It supports over 100 languages and comes with natively integrated machine translation engines, several of which are plug and play, uh, and provides the ability to have completely automated translation workflows for Confluence. It also enables language intelligence search capabilities, so your users can search in their own language. It supports your existing editorial workflows. Uh, it provides the ability to post edit translations right from within Confluence. And it keeps all of your content in sync at all times and across all languages. Lastly, it will result in decreased translation costs, provides better support for your international partners and customers. It allows you to use whichever MT engines you want and you can even train your machine translation engines for continuously improved translations. So how does this all work? Well, our, our friends at AppFusion uh, have created the Enterprise Translation Hub plugin, which is a Confluence plugin that allows you to hook up Confluence to Lingotech's cloud-based translation memory system. Content is then routed from Confluence into the Lingotech TMS, where it can be translated using any number of mm -hmm. workflows. And upon uh, completion of those translations, they are published back to Confluence, uh, where they are immediately available for use by your customers. 
So this continuous translation process stacks up as so. These steps, which today you're doing manually with a project manager, um, are completely automated using the Enterprise Translation Hub plugin so that you don't have to take all those manual steps anymore. And likewise, all of the web administrator tasks of getting those, those, uh, those translations published out to your Confluent site are likewise uh, automated through the plugin. Uh, so that what you end up with now is instead of a bunch of red boxes that you have to do yourself, everything's being taken care of for you through the translation solution between Linda Tech and AppFusion. And you'll see that this is a continuous translation process. And what that means is that uh, as content is added to your Confluent site or, or modified, uh, those ads and changes are automatically pushed back up to the LinguaTech cloud where they can be routed through the translation workflow that you've, you've chosen and then published back to your Confluent website. So there's an ongoing continuous translation process which uh, complements your continuous editorial and publication workflows that you use internally. Now, of course, the value to having a continuous translation workflow is that you can save up to 55% in project turnaround time. You have complete transparency into the process. You're not locked into the proprietary machine translation engines. You can use the engines which fit your budget and, more importantly, which uh, best translate the languages that you're targeting. Uh, and lastly, it's fully supported uh, within Atlassian Confluence across version updates. Between LingaTech and AppFusion, we have customers that represent every vertical. Uh, so we have a lot of experience in this area and a lot of uh, big name customers that you'll recognize. So you're in good hands working with us. And in fact, uh, one of those big name customers is here on the phone with us today, uh, Bob Kennedy, Senior Director of Technology over at CA Technologies. And uh, today we're using the LingaTech and AppFusion solution. I'm going to hand the time over to Bob so he can tell you about it himself. Thanks, Larry. Uh, let me uh, give you a little bit of a background on, on on what we are doing at CA Technologies. We're in the in the process of a of a large uh, transformation. As Ellen mentioned, uh, we have a, a team of about 300 uh, information developers, as well as uh, uh, localization specialists that that work on developing our content um, and and translating it across all of the all of the the 19 languages that we currently support so th this amounts to roughly 300 different products that we're working on and about 24,000 documents so it is a it, it is a large um, it is a large challenge to, to to get all of this done so the problem that we have pretty much aligns with what Larry has already delivered, uh, d discussed. Um, for example, c can you step back? Can, can you go back a slide? Um, we're authoring in a tool that's um, that that that's a very writer friendly, but not necessarily friendly for for collaboration. Um, we have conflict complex workflows, and I'll give you an example of those. Um, we've automated where we could, but there's still a lot of manual involvement to move our products, our product information through the various tools and platforms to get it out onto the web so our customers can access it. And all of these processes did not align with our, our current um, agile development processes that we've adopted at CA. So let me give you an idea here in this slide about um, the, the workflow that we have on on the right um, there's our customer and one of the the, the several different um, support information support information sites that our customers go to to access our content or they can come directly through the product um, currently um, over on the uh, sorry that was the left side over on the far right side we actually have our collaborators who who work in the authoring tool that I described before uh, we published from there into SharePoint, where we conduct reviews with our subject matter experts. Uh, we uh, uh, import those changes back into our authoring tool. Um, from the authoring tool, we publish it to our uh, translation uh, software that, that that takes it out to our linguists and um, the machine translation to be uh, to, to be worked on. Um, it's published to our websites. The translated content comes back into our workflow, and we publish that to our websites. 
So um, you can see it, it's a, it, it's a very um, big process, uh, lots of steps, and it involves a lot of people to get that done. Um, the, the documents can range anywhere from 100 to over 1,000 pages, and uh, it, it, it's quite a bit of work. Uh, what we found that um, the particular solution that we're talking about today from Lingotech and AppFusions has an, is, is going to enable us to do is to get rid of a lot of those manual processes and steps and work in a Confluence wiki uh, where um, we can, uh, in the single platform, manage all of our uh, content authoring, collaboration, uh, translation, and information delivery. So um, the benefits that you see at the right um, are, are that uh, all of this can be done in the cloud. We don't have to do this internally at, within, within the firewall at CA. Um, we can get collaborators from uh, many different locales across the world to, to help. Um, it improves our collaboration within CA. Our authoring processes and our st are now streamlined. Um, publishing takes minutes, not hours. Um, with Confluence, we can include lots of uh, rich content, like videos, and as we um, begin this large process, um, we're moving from product, static product help that's delivered um, within the product UI to something that's more dynamic um, and live for our customers on a Confluence wiki, and because this is all done um, and, and architected well in Confluence, we've got uh, rich SEO capabilities, and uh, the information is all out there on the internet, available to our customers from um, familiar Google or Bing searches, uh, and uh, we're hoping it's going to lead uh, to a lot more collaboration and satisfaction for our customers. Next slide. Um, at, at this point, I'm going to introduce Patrick Lee, who's going to take take you through a demo of, uh, of our site and um, of, of the solution itself. So take it away, Patrick. Thank you, Bob. Okay, so let's take a look at the Enterprise Translation Hub in action. Now, for those that may not recognize this, uh, we are actually looking at a Confluence instance. Um, so what we have uh, applied a custom theme to add some custom branding, and then some custom styles and look and feel. So as you can see, we still have um, the Powered by Alassim footer at the end, and also some of the standard um, confluence controls. So what we're looking at here is a copy of CA's NameSoft Service Desk product documentation, which is also available online at wiki.ca.com. It is a public confluence instance, and you can all have a look. So back to our page. So what we have here is some simple text in English, an image, um, and we also have a YouTube video, and then we also have a page tree on the left-hand side, which is using scroll versions. So we have a page with many different type of uh, material on that. Now there's also a translation bar at the top. Um, this is only displayed if the space has already been translated, and it is only visible to content authors and translators. So normal users will not be seeing this. So as we can see, the page we're looking at has already been translated to about eight languages. Now this is actually a work in progress um, for the CA uh, for the CA effort. Um, they actually are working on to translate their contents into over 19 different languages. So if we click on a language, for example, German, this will take us to the German version of the page. And as you can see, the page contents here has been translated to German, and also the page titles in the page tree has also been translated to German. Now we can also select a different language, for example, Japanese. And we can see all the contents here has been translated into Japanese. So now we will dive into a live demo and see how to perform a translation. So we start with a normal Confluence space in English. And as you can see, we don't have the translation bar at the top. 
which means that the space has not been translated. So to start the translation, all you have to do is click on the Start Space Translation option and then select the languages you want to translate the space contents into. Now we have eight languages listed here, uh, but the, the Enterprise Translation Hub and the LinguaTag platform supports over a hundred different languages. So let's go ahead and select French and German for this demo and then click on Start. Now this will send all the pages in the current space for translation. And then this will take us to the translation progress page where we can see the current progress of the translation. So right now we're using the Google Translate engine um, to translate the contents for us, but we can use other translation engines if we want. Um, so Larry, what other translation engines can we use with LingoTech? Uh, good question, Patrick. Um, yeah, so as you mentioned, uh, Google Translate is available right out of the box, uh, as well as Microsoft Translator. Um, you can also uh, use the uh, trained version of Microsoft Translator if you want to have a, a proprietary engine uh, for your company. Uh, and then LingoTech integrates with a number of popular uh, machine translation engines on the market, uh, including Language Weaver, uh, OmniFluent by AppTech, Asia Online, and, and pretty much any uh, machine translation engine that has an API uh, can be used within LingoTech. So that way you can pick the right engine for the right job and budget and language. Right, and if we, if we have uh, a translation engine already in-house, um, can we use that with LingoTech? Uh, absolutely, yeah. So long as there's an API layer, uh, we can integrate that right into LingoTech so that you can you can use it. In fact, I think I think uh, Bob has a kind of an example of that at CA. Great. That sounds great. Thanks, Larry. Okay, so back to the demo. Um, as we can see, um, the translation is completed for both French and also German. Um, so now we can go back to our original English space. And as we can see, we now have the translation bar at the top. And then click on language, we can see now we have French and also German. So if we click on French, we can see the contents in the space have been translated into French. Now in the translated French space, uh, we can see for the translation bar, we have two boxes, uh, machine translate and also post edit. Now this is an example of the LingoTech translation workflow. Now you can customize this workflow by adding additional steps to it. For example, we can add a prefill step here to improve your results to bring in, um, to bring in translations from your translation memory. So in this example, we where Pat you Patrick, this is th this is Bob. Yeah, I wanted to jump in here and say that that was that was something that was really valuable for us is to have this flexible workflow so that um, we've been doing language um, translations for for several years now so we wanted to be able to bring in the, the 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 translation memory that we've developed that's very specific to our products and not start from scratch as we move to this new platform so it was really important to us that there was a, the ability to bring in our translation memory um, into this flexible the, the, this flexible workflow, um, perhaps even for some for some um, languages, we may have a, a QA or a verification step that would come after after the after the post edit. So um, all this is able within the within the platform, and it's it it, it it's proving um, to, to be very valuable for us. Thank you, Bob. Um, right, so in our example here, we're using a very simple workflow. So we only have uh, Google to perform a machine translation, and then we have a post-edit step where we allow members of the communities or professional translators to come in and review the translated results. Now they can do that by clicking on the Edit in Workbench option, and this will launch the Workbench in LingoTech, and from here, uh, translators can uh, review and approve the automatically translated results. Now you can also launch the workbench uh, to so, review the so, translation. So, Patrick, um, yes. it, so is this 
is it, what's the real what's the reason for this? Is this because I, uh, I I found an inaccuracy in the translation and I wanted to make sure it was corrected and then saved into the uh, machine translation? And, and then and then what happens after that? Uh, exactly. So yes. Um, so this is this is where um, professional translators can come in and then correct the translations, and then the changes and edits you make here will be saved to the Lingotech translation uh, translation memory. So this is what this is one way for you to train your machine trans your uh, your your translation engines. So for future translations, um, this will improve your translation results coming from your our translation engine. Does, does that also speed up my processing too because now I don't have to, every time I translate, I don't have to translate the whole document. I can just translate the deltas and, and contextual changes? Um, exactly. So, oh, once, okay. so once this has all been um, saved to the translation memory, in future translations, um, so future translations, the translation engine will be able to quickly match up the, um, the terms here. What, what if I have translators that are not in that, that don't have access to my confluence? I, I, maybe this is you know, do, can they access this outside of the, um, our system, our confluence system? And that's a good question. Um, this is uh, what I was uh, about to say is um, you can also launch the Lingotech Workbench um, outside of confluence, so you can access this directly from the Lingotech platform. Um, so you don't have to provision additional confluence accounts. Um, in order for uh, for translators to use this feature, that's great. So I can um, so my French employees can help us on the French translations. But um, since we don't have anyone working in Indonesia, that we'll we'll have to hire a professional for that probably. Exactly. Right. Right. Okay. So this is the end of the demo. Um, are there any other questions? Okay, why don't I hand it back over to Larry. And um, this is a time for questions, so if anybody has any questions at all, please feel free to send them through the questions panel, and we'll address them as they come through. Okay, so I see a question. Um, so translation is put into a new space. So yes, uh, translation, the translated contents are placed into a new space in Confluence. Um, so the original English space will remain, remain untouched. And if we translate that into, say, German, a new, a new German space will be created in Confluence. Now, for settings such as themes, um, any other configurations, um, the, 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 the most common configurations such as themes, they will be copied over and automatically applied to the translated space. Um, other things such as comments and blocks, they, um, those will also automatically be translated um, and added to the translated contents. Right, and, 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 and so one of the reasons that um, architecturally we chose to do this with going into a new space is to take advantage of uh, Elastic Confluence's ability to uh, do searches that are, search, are space-wide, not across site. Um, you don't want to have, there are certain terms that would not, you wouldn't want them to be turning up the French and the German and the Chinese uh, when they are protected terms, such as product names. Um, you just want the the language that's appropriate to your viewing experience. Yeah, that's a that's a very good point. Um, since in Confluence you can perform global searches and also on a space level search. Um, so, so, so when you're searching for common terms or um, or special terms such as codes that are not being translated that should not be translated, um, you don't you don't want the, the results come showing up from all different languages. So that leads a new question. Um, how, do, how do you protect those terms? We didn't really talk about that. Um, maybe Larry, can you help us with that one? 
Yeah, absolutely, Ellen. Um, so one of the uh, technologies uh, available through the Lingotech uh, service mm -hmm. uh, is, is glossaries. Um, and glossaries allow uh, you as a client to identify certain words that, that perhaps are branded terms that shouldn't be translated, um, or maybe are, are words that should be translated but need to be translated a certain way uh, according to your industry or your market. Uh, so all of those types of terms can be loaded into a glossary, uh, and then they are enforced during the translation process to ensure that translators uh, are using the proper translations or no translations at all, depending on what the case may be. Thanks. So Larry, can you also tell us a bit about how, how LingoTech handles um, special contents such as uh, such as macros and complex and, and com uh, complex tags yeah um, so as the uh, content gets pulled uh, into the lingotech system uh, we have a, a number of algorithms that go through and parse out all of the uh, translatable content uh, so that the translators um, are presented only with translatable text uh, they don't have to necessarily, you know, deal with, you know, uh, embedded code and, and uh, that sort of thing. Um, the only uh, formatting which uh, gets applied as part of the translation process would be inline formatting. So, you know, for example, if you had a single word that was bolded or italic, italicized within, within a sentence, um, the uh, translator workbench allows for applying those format tags. Uh, but but most of uh, the formatting on the uh, on each page is is uh, handled automatically, uh, and once the translations are done, everything gets restored back to its proper order. So images are put back to where they should be, and headers and macros and all those sorts of things uh, are retained throughout the translation process. So, so Patrick, um, can you? I, I'm not sure I heard, but um, can you tell us why you showed us the demo in the the, the of the lasting do design documentation and not the CA documentation that you were showing us? Because that was a great theme. And right, um, the reason for that is because the the CA documentation space contains over hundreds of pages, um, and which means it will take several minutes, uh, five to ten minutes, for the translation to complete. So, in the interest of the of our time for the webinar, um, we have I have chosen a much smaller space, which which uh, which only would take half a minute to complete. So, so if I, if a customer contacted AppFusions, they would be able to uh, see that that more live thing in a more casual setting, no problem. In a demo. Um, exactly. Yes. There was there was nothing fabricated there or anything, right? That's all no. real. Exactly. Yes. Great. And then I see a question here that came through uh, from one of the um, attendees. It asks how, how the continuous translation process, which was mentioned, works. Are, are changes automatically passed for translation? For example, a new comment. Uh, so yeah, the answer to that question is yes. Um, the, the continuous translation process um, is handled through the uh, plugin that AppFusions uh, ha has created. And what it does is it, it monitors uh, the space for any changes that get made, that, whether that's a new page that's been created uh, or new content that's been added to an existing page, including a comment. Um, and those things are automatically uh, uploaded to Lingotech. And then, you know, depending on what your workflow is, if it's machine translation, then it's going to you know, be near instantaneous and immediately return back, uh, back to Confluence. Uh, or if there's you know some human involvement there uh, in the translation process, then then the proper people will be notified that there's new content to be uh, looked at, uh, and then once that that translation is completed, um, again the the uh, the new translations will be updated to your Confluence site. So it truly is an automated continuous uh, continuous translation process um, that that allows uh, you to be able to make new content uh, on Confluence and not have to worry about you know, is it going to get translated? Will the proper people be notified? Uh, the solution takes care of that for you. So, so I have a question for Bob. Thanks, Larry. Um, I have a question for Bob, if I may. Um, so, so one thing that wasn't really covered in this is how, I mean, Bob, your project is enormous. Uh, there's no other word for it, honestly. And um, and it's a, it's, a, it's a lofty goal, it even, I would even say. So 
you know, where do you start? I mean, what, are you, what flavor is your documentation in currently in your current process and how are you getting it over to Confluence? And once it's in Confluence, it sounds like your problems are solved. Of course, you're going to nurse your translation process, but can you just talk to that a bit? Where do you start and how are they getting oh, it? Um, where do we start? That's, that, that's a good question. So um, we, we're trying to identify um, our content for our, 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 highest, um, uh, our highest priority products and those products that are uh, more um, accessible to, to our SaaS customers and, and beginning with those um, because of the, the, their familiarity with, with working in a wiki may be um, we think might be more um, more uh, more accessible to them than uh, the way we've been delivering documentation for our enterprise products. Um, while um, while we're bringing in these these smaller topics that 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 we've uh, that that we've chunked and 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 tagged so that they'll look less like uh, giant books and, and and more like a, a, a wiki like web experience. Um, we're we're working on our um, on our our enterprise um, uh, our, our enterprise products to, uh, to 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 tag and chunk them and break them out of this book like paradigm into something that will that will um, be a lot more translatable and accessible uh, on a wiki platform rather than jumping into a hundred page configuration guide. There'll be, for example. Uh, a building section that will, you know, guide customers through um, the various steps they need to, um, to to configure one of our one of our enterprise applications. Um, what what, their, what documentation? What documentation tools are you using right now? And and, and then those are going to go away. And 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 you got all those writers. Are you retraining those guys into this new process? Is that how that's all working? Um, yeah, we currently use a, a, a combination of, uh, of of Authorit, uh, which is um, which has a nice um, a, a nice uh, friendly UI for for, for for managing documentation from a writer perspective, and and even um, manages the localization process fairly well. Um, but the challenge that we had with Authorit was that it um, We've we've had trouble adapting it to our um, to our agile development cycle, where we're we're really delivering content um, in English and translated to um, to 19 languages on a on a monthly basis sometimes. Um, so so we we have people working in Authorit. We've developed some some nice migration tools to help us get it from Authorit into Confluence um, with uh, some minimal cleanup, and and then. Uh, done some level of confluence training with our writers, but the rich, rich, rich text interface that that that's there now within Confluence, um, and, and we're at the 5.3 level, um, is 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 much superior than uh, th than the experience that wikis used to be used to be for people, and it's it, we're finding it's a pretty quick uh, um, adoption from writers who are used to working in um, uh, a kind of a drag and drop paradigm and author it into working in a more wiki-like uh, situation. Um, and they love the, uh, the collaborative aspects of it with, with their peers without having to publish to Word or HTML to get people to review their content. It can all be done in the same platform. So maybe it goes without saying that example that Patrick was showing that was migrated from Authorit, and, and was there a lot of post processing and editing or polishing you had to do, or it kind of came in clean based on your your migration path? Um, this one, th th this one did not come from Authorit. We developed this one in the wiki. Mm -hmm. um, the th throughout the next throughout the next um, three to four weeks, uh, we'll be bringing in six six new products that that that. That, that will go up onto uh, onto our wiki before the end of um, the, the the end of March, um, and and those are all coming from um, new and enterprise level products that we've uh, modified the content to put it into the wiki. Yeah, that's kind of my experience too. I see a lot of you know mixed situations on how they're trying to, and they're trying to get an overall strategy and get a handle on this. 
and, and, and then so that's excellent. It's great. Well, and, and, and you can do it in stages, right? Um, one of the things we've found is that, um, you know, you sort of have to take the products where they're at in, in their life cycle and how they're being um, developed by the various product teams. So uh, for, for some of our products, we're just delivering the, the content both in Confluence and author it for the first, for the first iteration, um, working, uh, working in um, the uh, user stories to to add um, calls from the product to the wiki uh, when they used to call either um, an HTML page on our website or they called static help files that were delivered from the product while those are being added to the, um, the the next product release so there there is some work both in both places and then a, the the plan is for most of our um, our, our GA plus one, which would be the next release after GA, for that to not only have the English content but the translated content for um, the required number of languages all managed uh, within the wiki. So we think it's going to take us um, a year, a year or so, to get all of this done. It's so, optimistic, but so this is. Uh... I mean, this is not just a documentation process or a translation process. This is this is core strategy to CA. It looks like because this is nothing small. Correct. And, and then you have executive Correct. leadership backing to support this process. And yes. Yes. Okay, I'm going to blow my cover. Obviously, after I've been asking Bob some questions. I've been asking Patrick questions. Obviously, AppFusions is highly involved in this. <laughs> um, and we're really thrilled for a customer like uh, CA and also a partner like Lingotech. I mean, it's been a phenomenal experience that we've been working on this for the last uh, one and a half years. Um, this is, it, it, we, we couldn't ask for a better customer to, uh, to do, do this with us. Um, it's true, truly a partnership for success, and, and, and that is what we expect also in the industry longer term. Well, I, I want to say that even though we've only done one product, um, this, this was eight weeks. Um, this was eight weeks of, of getting the content migrated into a new wiki platform um, with um, the, 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 the look and feel plus integrating um, a number of, of, of uh, uh, plugins to um, to Atlassian Confluence, um, as well as the Lingo Tech, Tech App Fusion solution. So, um, you know, eight, eight eight weeks we were able to do this, and uh, that that bodes well for us moving forward um, as aggressively as as we as we as we plan to to get all of this done within a year or so. Well, it'll go a lot faster because now that the theme's in there, the theme was a good chunk of that time and really polishing and designing that the way you guys want it. So it should go faster now going forward, I think, a little bit. OK, I see a couple more questions. I think these ones might be for Ellen. Um, there's one that says, um, how do you price the solution? Um, right. So currently, it's priced at. Um, if anyone's familiar with uh, translation services and translation costs, um, it's not uncommon to hear people tell me stories that are in the hundreds of thousands to actually millions that they're paying for translation services and the whole whole nine yard process. Um, this is priced at six thousand uh, dollars a language, and that is annual. Um, so in the case, uh, and Bob might be able to talk to this actually because this was something that compared to what they were paying, uh, it was a big reduction. Um, and it's fully supported. It's supported with both on the, on the ling Lingotech side as well as the app, uh, that Lassian Confluence side. So as the Lassian Confluence continues to roll its revs as they do often, um, AppFusions will be keeping up, making sure that the integration is con consistent and continues to roll. As we, um, one of the reasons that uh, Singe is such a great partner in this effort, outside of just as a customer and case study, is mostly um, the, the the bulk. Um, AppFusions is pretty known for taking on big and large and, and and hairy projects, if you will, 
And the reason we like it is because it really pushes the button on product development. It really pushes the button on feature development and, and makes us really work it, work, work it, work it, work it. And all those, that feature development will all be rolled into the plugin um, that is off the shelf available. Well, that kind of that that kind of speaks to um, one of the features that Patrick demoed um, was uh, it, it initially um, it was uh, I I don't think we 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 showed the um, the that there's a, that there's a way to get to, to get from the the the, the platform the um, the LingoTech platform back into back into the wiki I mean one of the things that one of the things that uh, that, that we thought would be very um, beneficial for the linguist was the ability to actually look at the at the English content so um, all of this being on the on the wiki platform um, makes that makes that accessible and being able to get there from from um, from the Lingotech platform as well as if you go from confluence to to the platform um, was w was valuable because we would often get lots of issues from the linguists uh, relating to um, sentence not seeing the sentences in context and this just gives them instant a instant access to the to the um, to to the English um, outside the platform if they want to go into the actual wiki and look at it. Great. I see uh, another question here. I think is also for Ellen. Uh, it says, um, "Can I take the solution for test drive?" Yes, absolutely. Um, this integration and this plugin and solution is a little bit different than typical Atlassian plugin solutions, which are a very plug and play. Um, it's the Beauty and the Beast situation. Uh, I think it, it's we're a big proponent of plug and play as best we can. On the other hand, uh, for something that's a, it's a, um, we really want success, and, and and there is configuration, and there's languages, and there's 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 process and workflow. Um, making sure that you have success out the gate is very important um, for at least the next for at least the next uh, 20 to 30 customers we will be hand holding all those demos and uh, evaluations we will be setting you up with your own environment in your staging system allow you to run translations at your heart's content many thousands of pages whatever you want we would like you to break it if you want to break it <laughs> the more you uh, pound on it the better it gets um, we're very close to the ground in how we develop and how we work, how we run the business, as well as uh, LingoTech, which has made it a great partnership. And, and, and that's how those not only uh, trials work, but also demos and, and everything. It is what it is, and we're going to make it successful for you. So you get to get a trial, just request it, and, and, and we'll set it up, get it going for you. Great. Well, I think that's all the questions I see. So, Ellen, I think we're ready to wrap up. Great. I don't have anything else except for thank you for coming to the webinar. Um, we really appreciate that. We will also be sending out a video recording of this. Let us get that uh, all polished out for you. Um, and if you have any other questions, because there is a lot of questions beyond what we've shared. Um, this is a, a big thing at the industry level as well as the process level, and uh, we're open to anything you have. So, anyone else? Link, Larry, Patrick, Bob? Um, I, I guess I would, I would just encourage people to give it a try. Um, throw, uh, you know, get your, get, get your content, get, get some content ready, um, call the team, and uh, Get, let them uh, let them set you up with a demo and see how it works for you. That's um, that's what we did, and uh, we're we're very satisfied at the at the um, at, at the level of service and attention to our needs and the um, the speed with which we move from a demo environment to a, a real production environment.
All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you to our presenters, and thank you to everyone that attended. Um, as Ellen mentioned, we'll have the recording available shortly. We'll get it out to you. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.